Hello everybody there on YouTube. This is Earth Watching. Michael here. It is 420 2018 and for any of you guys out there you know what that means. But I was scanning the webcams today and I believe I got the space lens, the obstruction lens uh, dead to rights today. I believe I have them busted and I will prove it. And what's big about this is pay attention to the time. This is the timestamp. Pay big time attention to this on all four of these. And these timestamps are what's going to prove this isn't any type of uh, camera anomaly. This is up in space. It is being blocked by chemtrails and they do not want you to see this. Or whatever is behind this. But there's the lens. 100% right here. Straight down. Right angle. Straight over. Right angle. Straight up right angle giant square and it's right here and what I'm going to prove to you today with these four cams they all appear at the same exact time on all four cameras all over Alaska and these are the cameras I caught where there was enough chem breakage where you could see this and I will go previous and you can see it here where it's starting to distort the Sun look at the Sun dog projecting off of it getting a prism effect I find this to be incredible and I think this is almost indisputable proof Look at that there. It just stops. The sunlight hits where that square is at and just freaking stops. Right there, the main beams, and that's the distortion of the light coming off of it. And we're going backwards in time right now, but look. If it's not there, how is it cutting the top of the sun out? And you can see how they're trying to haze it up today, but I don't think they got enough of it up there to do it there. Look. Look, 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 look. It's right here. And I've got four of them today that's just incredible. That shows all of this. And there you are. Look at that complete outline of it sitting there floating. And there's your sun dog. We'll go back one camera for you to look at now. Look at the time, 9.50. Look at the time. I'll just go one up. There's, may as well say 9.50. There is your square. Your perfect lens in space that's obstructing whatever is behind it so we'll go back to this camera now and I look at the time 9:50. I look real close right there it is see the edges see them I'll go back and prove it to you just like that look how the Sun's distorting and then they cover it up This is probably the unclearest version of the cameras I got today, but you can see it going past it. You can see it right there in the outline, just barely. You can see it. And there's the projection that causes the reflection down to the planet that I believe is behind it, or moon. This is another good one. Look at the time, 9.01. Go back a frame. Oh, gotta go forward frames on this one, sorry. So we can get up to the nine. Look here. Pay attention to this lens flare that you're gonna think it is, but notice it only rotates, it never gets further away from the sun or closer to the sun. Like pay attention to these lens flares. The distance will increase and they will rotate one direction or the other as the sun goes. See look at how far those are going. That one's not moving. Look at the time, nine eleven. Right here's where that lens should be. Right here in the sky, the sun should be approaching it. But amazingly, you really can't see it, but look at where the sun, the light beam comes out, disappears, and comes out that side. See? Never moves. The sun catches it. We'll go real slow. There it is. Look real close. See the straight edge? Right here, here, and here. You can see the straight edge starting to break the sun. Then everything gets all fuzzy, real blurred out, distorted on the sun. See, now watch. Bang. And look right here real close. You can see the straight edge right there. Go back and look, it never moves. It gets dimmer as the sun goes away, but it doesn't get brighter because there is a lens there, an obstructing lens, bending the light. Let's go to the fourth camera today. This is the most incredible one. Look at that. 
look at that it's just the light from the sun's hitting it and just stops and once again 902 times in the sky they all match up this one's further away so there's probably a different hour difference so we're looking at 912 you know you got that stupid um, time change here in America and it drives us nuts too see let me run out of camera time because they only gave you I believe it's I'm not sure four hours I believe it is might be eight hours but look at that right there and there's the sun being distorted from it and you can just see it plain as day right here look at that you can see it sitting there like somebody cut a square out in the sky 932 you can see it and it's in the same place in the sky on all the cameras look at that can't tell me they're not they don't have something up there this it's just monstrous but they have up there in space to hide whatever's back there now let your eyes focus on that for a second just sit back and let your eyes focus and what I have to show you is when you see the actual size of it look up here look across look straight down and look over and but they're always it's always distorted a little tilted you'll never really be able to tell this is and you can tell it here so right here is where the sun's bouncing right off the side of it and then you can see where the rays are dim as it's passing behind it or through it and then they brighten back up here there's your sun dog project, projection being coming from it and you can see it and I believe it is that big look at the size of it if you really pay attention go to the next one see if they're that size real quick sure enough this camera here is just point more down at the horizon so a lot of it's probably out of the top of the frame because you can only see the bottom what half of the sun and then the other ones I believe yeah you can see the full sun because this one's got less of it in the frame but thank you for watching I believe that should be about a hundred percent proof there is a lens array system in space and I thank you for taking the time and watching God bless please if you uh, just do your own research and you'll probably come up with the same conclusions once you do enough of it you all have a good night and God bless you all